It is O'Malley's work to reform the church on child abuse where he has made the biggest impact. For many people outside the church and inside the church, the biggest scandal isn't the predators, it's the bishops. The bishops who protected them and lied about them and moved them from parish to parish. And many of these predators have been prosecuted, but the bishops have not. Why is that? One of the first things that came up is the importance of accountability. And uh, we're looking at how the church could have protocols and how to respond when a bishop has not been responsible uh, for uh, the protection of children in his diocese. I want to ask you about Robert Finn, who is the bishop of Kansas City, St. Joseph. And as you know, he pleaded guilty to a criminal misdemeanor for not mm -hmm. reporting mm -hmm. one of his priests to authorities. Bishop Finn wouldn't be able to teach Sunday school in Boston. That's right. How is that zero tolerance oh, well. that he's still in place? What does it say to Catholics? Well, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a question that the Holy See needs to address urgently. And there's a recognition? There's a recognition of that. From Pope Francis? From Pope Francis. The Cardinal's careful candor isn't limited to the church's mishandling of abuse. Take the Vatican Doctrine Office's crackdown on American nuns for focusing more on social justice than issues like abortion and contraception, placing the nuns under the supervision of three bishops. It looked like a crackdown from men at the Vatican yeah. on... A disaster. <laughs> a disaster. A disaster. Should there be more women in positions of power in the Curia? Yes, I think there should be, and uh, hopefully there will be. When? Well, uh, I can't tell you what time, but uh, <laughs> hopefully soon.